So we're back in the grinding shed. I'm just going to be blending the 70 degree um, bottom cut of this three angle setup. You can see there's a 30 at the top, thin 45, and then there's a 70 degree bottom cut. I'm just going to be blending that into the port using the flexi drive and a carbide cutter. This makes quite a lot of difference to the flow around the short side area. Uh, so it's just worth spending a bit of time. The valve seat area is one of the most important areas of a modified head. So if we can smooth that out, uh, the airflow will just be so much better. Uh, same with the exhaust, we can blend this 70 degree bottom cut into the port to make it smoother. Again, we're just going to blend this. This is on the long side of the port. Get some smooth airflow to the seat. So although I use this Myra valve seat cutter, obviously use it quite a lot for inserting as well. You can, on a tighter budget, use something like this. This is the new way valve seat cutting system. You can pick these up separately on eBay as and when they become available. There's different sizes. That's a 45, 30 degree cutter. So that will do a seat cut and a top cut. And then there's throat cutting. I think that's a 60 degree. Uh, so that will do a throat cut. There's very small ones for different valve sizes. And then you can either use the expanding pilots like these that come with a kit or just make up, like I've done here, some steel pilots that just drop into the guide for whatever seat, whatever head you're cutting. Seats too. Uh, so these, I picked up some of these for sort of £10 each on eBay, so if you want to get into head modifying, these will still cut hardened seats. Um, and you can do a three angle seat and then maybe blend with cutters like I've just shown you how to do on the last video, uh, to get a smooth run up to the seat. So next is lapping the valves in, using some fine grade valve grinding paste. I'm just going to put a little bit on each valve. using some WD-40 to thin down the valve grinding paste. And a valve grinding stick.
when the valve goes quiet as you're lapping it, it's lapped in. and they're lapped. So that's the seats lapped in. I've just welded up the bypass hose because the engine this is being fitted to won't need that. Just kind of clean it off and paint it. Last thing to check is some flow bench figures just to make sure that it is what it's supposed to be. That's that one done. On to these two next. Thanks for watching. Uh, send me any messages if you're not sure about any of the processes or want some advice. Or you can go to my website, uh, vmaxscart.co.uk. Thanks for watching.